I know. A follow-up ultrasound isn't a big deal for little Maisie, seeing as she's already undergone surgery on her obstructed bowels within 12 hours of birth, spent five weeks in the neonatal intensive care unit, then on top of all that, within days of finally getting to go home to Kamloops, the newborn suddenly fell gravely ill, her condition deteriorating within minutes. They basically said that there's a chance that she might not survive, and it was hard. They are life-threatening infections, a bloodstream bacterial infection certainly uh, can be uh, very devastating uh, even if they're able to survive it and again we do our best guess with regards to the antibiotics of the most common organisms. So while Maisie was bombarded with a wide range of drugs, this time her medical team only had to wait a few hours to find out she had E. coli and the proper antibiotic was started immediately. It was like so quick like one second we didn't know if she was going to make it and the next second she was going to be okay. Like a miracle. <laughs> there we go. And that miracle is thanks to a new blood analysis machine called Maldi. On average it can diagnose a nasty bug 36 hours faster than before and the results are more accurate. The time to being on the right antibiotic has been shown in a number of studies to be um, probably the most important variable in determining whether you do well after your infection or not. And the more severe the infection, the more important it is to have the antibiotics, the right antibiotics going quicker. Pathology had been asking the province to buy Maldi for three years before donors eventually stepped in with the $170,000 last year. Now about 100 samples from young patients are run through every single day and Amazing Maisie just got to celebrate four months. When people ask you to donate money, you never think like, oh, it's going to change somebody's life. But honestly, like it does, like without that machine or out without all of the machines, Maisie wouldn't be here. And I'm sure a lot of other children and babies wouldn't be here either.